Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about the concept of static electricity. Our learning objective to investigate static electricity, our success criteria to state what static electricity is, describe how static electricity is produced, apply our knowledge of static electricity to its uses. As a starter, we want to match the definitions to the keywords. So, for example, here we have voltage, current, resistance, attract, repel, and on the other side we have the flow of charge around the circuit, measure of how easy it is for the current to flow around the circuit, the invisible magnetic force between the magnets will pull the poles together, then we have the strength of the push provided by the battery. And then we have the invisible magnetic force between the magnets will force the poles away from each other. So this activity will take you around two minutes for you to do. Okay, and as you can see here that each word is defined with its correct definition. So for example, resistance is the measure of how easy it is for the current to flow around a circuit. Then we are going to talk about that there are two kinds of charge, the positive and the negative, and all objects are made up of atoms, and each atom contains three different types of particles. A positive particle, which is a proton, a negative particle, which is an electron, and a particle with no charge, which is a neutron. As, as you can see here, that we have the electrons that are revolving around the positive and the neutral, which are the protons and the neutrons. Atoms contain the same number of protons and electrons. Positive and negative charges are cancelled out, and so an atom has no overall charge. <clears throat> Static electricity occurs when an object either loses or gains a negative charge. We say that all objects that lose negative charges become positively charged overall, and we say that objects that gain negative charges become negatively charged overall. Using your white word, you have one minute to draw and label an atom. Okay, so technically we are going to be having an activity that is um, an A4 as your, seated ground, uh, as your seated plan. And we are going to be drawing a, um, the atom. So, with your partner, can you think of any situation where you have felt a static shock? So, when you... When a polythene strip is rubbed with a cloth, the negative charges move from the cloth to the strip. The strip becomes negatively charged because it has more negative charges than it needs to cancel out the positive charges. And the cloth becomes positive because it has less negative charges than it needs. So, you guys are going to be carrying this investigation to investigate and carry out an investigation about the electricity, static electricity. So we have six investigations that will be around you and we will be using our research skills in order to answer each one of these. And that's it for the week and we will be able to answer those questions and so on. Can't wait to see you this week.